Joining us now is Michael Coyne, a dean at the Massachusetts School of Law, trying to help us understand better the charges and where Aaron Hernandez and his defense team go from here. First of all, how good a case does the prosecution have against Aaron Hernandez? Well, in listening to their recounting of the evidence that they have today, they have a sophisticated and extensive series of modern evidence. The uh, text messages, the surveillance cameras, the uh, GPS records and the like. But what they don't have is the proverbial smoking gun, the actual murder weapon with fingerprints on it that they can ballistically test. So it's still going to be at the end of the day a reasonable doubt case that the defendant has. Uh, but the evidence they presented today shows uh, quite extensively uh, what likely is Hernandez's involvement and role. Uh, in what the government describes as an execution style slaying. Now, what if they do not find that weapon that was actually used to kill Odin Lloyd? And even if Hernandez is found not to be the shooter, will he still be charged first with first degree murder? He's been charged and will continue to be and can be convicted of first degree murder, even without the murder weapon, even if he's not one of the three people that pulled the trigger. If the three of them got together, decided that they were going to execute him, the fact that the final bullet didn't come out of Hernandez's gun, but came out of one of his uh, joint venturer's guns that would still leave him potentially liable for first degree murder. Obviously not granted bail today. So what is the next step for Aaron Hernandez and his uh, defense team? Well, he will seek a further review of that bail order in the Superior Court. Uh, and that could happen as early before the end of the week or it certainly will happen within the next two weeks where his lawyer will come in and make a much more extensive argument about GPS monitoring, uh, probation on a regular visits, that he's not a flight risk, that he's not a danger to anyone else and that under the appropriate conditions he deserves bail. There is a presumption of bail, uh, meaning that he should be, as a general matter, the law favors the release prior to someone being convicted and he'll be allowed an additional opportunity to make that argument. Definitely a long way to go. Mike Coyne, thanks so much for joining us.